let's have a look at our Spearman's row correlation results. You'll notice across the diagonals that we have ones, and that's because a variable correlated with itself, such as age groups, with age groups will always be perfectly positively correlated. So we never report these numbers across the diagonal. Across the other diagonal, you'll notice it's the same information. So we're just going to report the results from one of these boxes. Now the first number is the correlation coefficient. Specifically, this is the Spearman's row correlation coefficient, and it's 0.254. Now this number, just like with Pearson's R, ranges between minus 1 and plus 1. Minus being a negative correlation and plus being a positive correlation. Now I recommend that you use your lecture notes or the recommended statistics textbook for your course to determine the strength of this relationship. But I'm just going to show you what I use. And this is a table I've taken from a statistics textbook. And it just gives you a rough guide to determine what to consider to be strong, moderate, weak, or no relationship at all. And you can notice that you can have positive and strong, negative and strong. And the same thing with moderate and weak. Now our value was positive, and if we have a look again, 0.254, we can see that falls within the weak category. So we have a weak positive relationship between age groups and total competency. The second statistic is our p-value, and it's labeled as SIG in SPSS. Now this value gives us an indication of whether our results just happen by chance in our sample or whether a relationship truly exists in the population. And we need to compare this value to our alpha value. My alpha value is 0 0.05, but your alpha value may be 0 0.01, so make sure to compare it to the one you're using. Now, if our p-value is less than 0 0.05, it means that there's enough evidence to reject H0 and accept our alternate hypothesis, H1. My alternate hypothesis is two-tailed, and it just says that there will be a relationship, but I'm not saying it will be positive or negative. So in this case, it's less than 0.05, so I would conclude that there is strong enough evidence to suggest a relationship does exist. Even though it's only weak, there is some relationship between age and competency. Lastly, if you remember, we tick the option to flag significant correlations, and you'll see here there's a asterisk next to our correlation coefficient. And that is just SPSS telling us that our SIG value is significant at 0 0.05, which you can see here at the bottom. So in other words, this value here is less than 0 0.05. If it was also less than 0 0.01, there would be two asterisks here instead of one.